this week so far, I will say congratulations to those of you who have been following up the match predictions we have been sharing this week from Monday till Friday. And I want to announce that we actually shared a total of 20 matches event this week. And out of the 20 events we have shared with you, we had 17 correct events. That's 17 matches were correct. And we have three fifth events. And of course, if you followed the matches based on the way we explain as a re-edit, making sure that you pick a maximum of between three to five out in each day, then of course, you must have been making a lot of income from the matches predictions we have been sharing with you. And I will make a review recap of the matches we shared with you and how these matches actually end so that you are going to keep a track of the matches we have been sharing and how these matches actually ended so as to know what is actually happening from the matches we are sharing and to see the level of accuracy of the various match predictions. So beginning on Monday, the first, uh, we shared some few matches, which was about uh, seven games. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven events on Monday. And uh, out of these seven, we had one incorrect event, which was corner kicks and all of the other results were very correct. But if you re-edit the games and making sure you pick a maximum of between three to five odds, that's if you manage to edit these matches and pick in three to five odds, then you must have had a win. And I will share with you this game. The first in our list was in the England Championship. So I will go to the England Championship. The first game was a match between Leeds United playing with Birmingham. In this match, we predicted that Leeds United is going to win this game in full time. And you can see this match is ended as 3 is to 0. And Leeds United actually win, making it very correct. The next was a match between uh, Leicester City. That's Leicester still in the England Championship. And here we predicted that Leicester is going to win. And you can see the match actually ended as 4 is to 1, making Leicester the winning game. That's the winning team, which was very successful. The next game in our list, we predicted in the National, that's England National League. And I will go directly to England National League here. And the first game, we predicted the match between Chesterfield uh, playing with Sohimor. In this match, we predicted two to three events here. The first event was that we predicted Chesterfield to win. And this match actually ended as Chesterfield to win, which was a very huge success. So if you went for Chesterfield to win, congratulations. And we also predicted the possibility of over 2.5 goal or 3.5 goal in full time. And this match, is actually, this match actually ended in, as five goals which made it also a very huge success. So if you went for 2.5 goal, congratulations, 3.5, congratulations as well. So if only for this game we have shared, if your 3 to 5 odds were from this list, then of course it was a huge success. So the next match in our list, which we predicted, was in the England Championship. So I'll move back directly to England Championship, and uh, we predicted a match between uh, that's, uh, Blackburn. So I want to look at Blackburn here. Let me locate that match with uh, Rotterdam. In this match, we predicted 8.5 or 7.5 corner kick to occur in this match in full time. And you can see it was a huge success because the total number of corner kick here was 9, making it a huge success. If you went for 7.5, correct. 8.5, it was also very correct. And the next match, we also predicted corner kick in Norwich playing with Southampton. In this match, we also predicted 7.5 and 8.5 corner kick, as well as 9.5 corner kick in full time. You can see this match is actually, this match actually ended as 13 corner kick in full time, making it also a very huge success. So if you went for 10.5 corner kick, congratulations, 9.5, congratulations, and making it a huge success. And the last game in our list, which was the only game that we have a shortage, which was the only lacking game here, was a match with Leicester, which we predicted uh, 8.5, uh, 7.5 and 8.5 corner. You see, we had two predictions for Leicester in the England Championship, and the first was Leicester to win. You can see this is it here, Leicester actually win. We also predicted again Leicester as corner kicks as 7.5 or 8.5, but it ended here as statistics. It shows that uh, corner kick were seven corner kicks. So if you went for seven corner kicks, 7.5, then we're lacking one corner to make it a huge success. This was the only game 
that actually has shortage of corner kick for all the games we predicted on Monday, the 1st of January. So if you actually followed us following the edits and making sure you pick a maximum of three to five out, then of course, success was your portion. I will move to the next, which was matches on Tuesday. We did not predict any match on Tuesday because matches on Tuesday, Tuesday was, not, uh, was not really good and it was very risky. So we actually skipped that Tuesday. We did not predict any game. So we actually predicted game only on Wednesday. And I will share with you the matches for games on Wednesday. Also, the games we shared on Wednesday, we had uh, about how many games? That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games or six games we share with you on Wednesday. Out of these six, we had five correct events and one was incorrect. Five correct events. And if you actually follow the edit that we explained, making sure that you pick a maximum of between three games, three to five odd maximum, then success was also your portion if you managed to edit following the way we did. So, of course, I will share the first game in my list, which was in the France Super Cup. So, I will go directly to France in the Super Cup here. So, France Super Cup. Let me locate that uh, immediately. Let me go again one step upward here. We have Super Cup of France. We predicted a match between PSG and Toulouse. We said that PSG is going to win this match. And uh, you can see this match actually ended as 2 is to 0, which made it a huge success as the first game we predicted for this match. Also, we predicted uh, the fact that uh, goals will occur here, which was uh, 1.5 or 2.5 goal in full time. If you went for the two goal in the bracket, because we predicted two goals in the bracket, then of course, you have a reform here. But if you predicted 1.5 goal success, it was successful. And uh, if you predicted 2.5 goal, then of course you had uh, a shortage here. The next game in our list was uh, in the Greece Superliga. So I'll go to Greece in the Super League. And here we predicted games, about two games uh, in the Greece Super League. The first was a match uh, in a match between AK and Tens. And uh, we predicted that AK and Tens is going to win. It had a match with Volus and this actually ended well. Uh, three is to nil, which made it a huge success. And also, we predicted a match with Panathinaikos playing with Guinamia. That's uh, Guinina. We also predicted that the home team is going to win in full time. And here we had successful pick with ending as two is to zero, which made it also a success. The next game we predicted was in the Tunisia League One, which was under kicks. So I went for uh, under. I want to look at Tunisia. If I'm okay, yeah, talk, no, no, this is League Two. Let me go to League One. Uh, that's professional league. In the first game, we predicted um, a, a match between Club African uh, playing with um, this Club African playing with um, Olympique Beja. In this match, we predicted under 2.5 go in full time as well as under 3.5. If you went for under 2.5, it was successful, and under 3.5 as well, it was very successful. And the next game was a match with Gaftia. Here we predicted goals as well on that 3.5, but it ended as five goals. That was just too much. It actually passed our expectation because this was really checked, make, making sure that the matches they had and the event and also based on statistics, uh, goals were not that too much. But I think there was a certain player called Sion N who actually made a huge amount of goal scoring to occur here. This was just uh, a kind of transfer. I don't, uh, this is the cause of too much goals to occur here knew uh, that Siot N actually scored three goals alone in this game. So this was the cause of uh, not ending as under 3.5 as we predicted. There was too much goals here and that was our leading down factor in this particular event. So but the next day we actually predicted to make sure that we cover this up by making sure that we give you two particular match events with an odd of about 2.5 and above, making sure that it ended very well and all the matches on Thursday was very successful. We predicted two events, which was very successful event that we share with you. And this was the first game was in the Italy Cup, which we predicted. Um, let me go directly to Italy in the Cup Italia. We predicted a match between Juventus and uh, Salinata. The odd was 1.28 for Juventus to win and 1.30 to 1.35 in some bookmakers. We actually predicted the home team to win. It ended well and as well as 2.5 goal, which was very huge success. And we also predicted a match 
in the Australia A League, which was a very huge success. In the Australia A League, we, we provided you with a game, a match between Adelaide United and Williton for next. We actually predicted that you should go for over 12.5 corner kicks. And if you are not to go for 12, then look at 10.5 corner kicks. You can see the match actually ended with 19 corner kicks, making it a very huge success. So if you went for any of these events, then of course we cover up the event on Wednesday, which we had loss on Wednesday. If you did not follow the edit, we ask you. Then of course, this was covered on Wednesday, making it also a huge success. So you don't uh, you do not don't forget that uh, out of the 20 match event we predicted, we had 17 successful events, and just three was a, an issue. And this was the three that we are sharing with you. And now moving on Friday, we shared uh, some events with you about, um, and this event we share with you, let me go uh, and try to check or cover that up so that you see what happened on Friday. The first game was in the England FA Cup. We made sure that we gave you a lot of corner kick for the first event, which was in the England Cup. So I'll go directly to the England FA Cup. We predicted a match. Uh, the first game was um, a match with, um, yes, it was Tottenham. We predicted Tottenham and Burnley, a 9.5 corner kick. Here we had 11 corner kicks, making it a very huge success, which it was really good. Uh, 9.5, it was correct. We also predicted a match in the uh, that's Portugal Premier League. So I will locate uh, Portugal in the Premier League. We also predicted huge amount of corner kicks, uh, a match between Sporting. We predicted a match with Sporting and Estory. Corner kick here, we provided 10.5 and 11.5 corner kicks. It actually ended as a huge success. We had 7 plus 5 corner kick, making it uh, that's a 12 corner kick, which was a huge success. And of course, we also predicted Sporting to win. You can see it actually ended as 5 is to 1, making it a huge success in this game. And we also predicted a match in the England FA Cup as well. And we predicted a match with Fulham. Let's look at FA Cup here. A match with uh, Fulham playing with Rotterdam. We predicted that the home team is going to win. And it actually ended as win if you follow our re-edit, which made it a success. But if you went for goals, then we had a shortage here. And of course, if you follow the re-edit following the way we explained to you, then of course, you must have had a win this Friday that has passed. Because all of the events we predicted all ended as a success based on re-edit. And of course, if you were to form some few tickets of making sure that you exchange the ticket going for corner kicks in separate or goals and making sure that you re-edit and pick some matches, then of course, success was also in your side. So make sure to subscribe, to like, and also to follow the next upcoming event predictions, which will be releasing very soon. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to do so. So, I know my heart is a ghost town.